is I'd like to welcome you too to Leuphana University and I hope you, had a, you will have an unforgettable time here in Lüneburg the next years. Um, Jantje says I'm a professor of accounting and auditing. Most of you will say, oh, what a boring discipline. Um, business economics and diversity, does it fit together? To my mind, yes, and you have uh, one university here which has a great opportunity to combine these topics very well, to my opinion. Um, I'd like to talk about a special kind of diversity, uh, gender diversity, and firm performance. Does it make sense? And I'd like to uh, draw your attention to the German case and to the so-called board of directors. That means the composition of the management board. In German, we call it in a big company, the Vorstand and supervisory boards, Aufsichtsrat. And uh, I will discuss the main possible economic impact of gender diversity strategies on, in firms on performance measures. Um, of course, there are many other um, gender topics or diversity topics or diversity elements, but the main element in research is up to now the gender problem. Let's start um, with an introduction. The relevance of the topic results, to my mind, from a regulatory as well on a research perspective. Um, after our financial market crisis in 2008-2009, the market's confidence in the quality of what we say corporate governance, it means leadership and monitoring, was um, damaged. And I think we all learned from these bad experiences after the crisis. To my mind, a short-term shareholder value policy is not useful any longer. To my mind, and this is broad sense here at Leuphana University, we all need a stakeholder management approach. So called that the shareholder is only one um, element of policy and only one stakeholder group. We must integrate, to my mind, the information needs of many other groups, customers, employees, and so on, and not only the investor focus. And this strategy is still controversial in our discipline in research and or in teaching in Germany. And I think you have the great opportunity here in Lüneburg that our bachelor programs are already linked with st stakeholder management. The major programs, the minor programs, Lofana semester, and also the complementary studies. Um, I think most of you know, if you read the papers, that during the last years, the German legislator and also the international legislator started several reform measures as a reaction to the mar financial market crisis. The aim was, of course, to increase trust of uh, leadership and monitoring activities. In Germany, already some firms are forced to implement a fixed quota for the supervisory board, we call it Frauenquote, since this year. And also within the European Union, corporate social responsibility communication was increased by new um, directives. You could ask yourself, why do we has, have these tendencies the last years? To my mind, from my discipline, business economics, the classical financial reporting or communication processes uh, do not fulfill the needs of the stakeholders any longer. Why is it so? The real value of a company is uh, not equal to the balanced equity, which you can see in the uh, balance sheets. We have a huge information gap, and this gap must be explained by non-financial reporting or sustainability reporting or accounting. You should inform your stakeholders about your main value drivers. And diversity is one of the key value drivers, and also gender diversity in your board of directors. This is all non-financial stuff, um, but it's relevant for decision-making of the board. Board diversity, to my opinion, represents a significant corporate governance mechanism in order to realize efficient stakeholder management and monitoring activities. And the consideration of diversity when selecting the board um, of directors um, is one of essential um, role. Within the um, empirical corporate governance research, we have huge analyses regarding economic effects of board diversity um, and firm performance. 
a large number of studies you can find that consider that board diversity could be an indicator of success for the international corporate practice. Literature states that there's more professional board members if there are female members under this uh, board of directors. It will lead to a different decision-making process. And many positive um, findings show that more women may lead to a broader view on CSR activities, fresh and innovative strategies in relation to the old boys network you can find as an expression often in the research. I'd like to discuss the main implications on gender diversity in the board on financial performance and also of non-financial performance. These are the two key um, research activities in business economics you can find during the last years. And I th think you will also um, will know these studies um, after your studies here at business economics at Leuphana University. You will see here um, a meta-analysis, a research paper with the title Women on Boards and Financial Firm Financial Performance, a meta-analysis. For every researcher, the best way about to find the main um, results of one discipline is to look into the journal database and search for some literature reviews or for a meta-analysis. What is a meta-analysis? Dear students, it's a summarize of all empirical studies to one topic, and it's a calculation of the total impact by a regression. This is rather a statistical problem, but you will learn in your studies the main research methods at Leuphana. And statistics will already start in this Leuphana semester, um, and so far um, it's near to you. The first one, um, written by Post and Byron and published in one of our main leading journals on an international way in the Academy of Management Journal. The authors read over 100 studies, empirical studies to the topic, and they divided the financial performance into two main components, accounting returns and market performance. Accounting returns means that you will calculate your financial performance with the help of your financial reporting stuff. This is a very short-term view. Another possibility would be to take market performance. Is it a more long-term perspective? The two authors find a positive link of women on boards over the studies and return of the accounting data, but no impact on market performance. They also, also analyze the factors that may um, moderate this effect on financial performance. To their opinion, shareholder protection and gender parity in the board positively contributes to this interaction between women on boards and performance. To my mind, this is not a surprising result because if shareholders can act actively in a corporation, they may also honor a successful gender diversity strategy in the firm. But it's not clear in the total whether women on boards will always lead to better financial performance. Just have a look at the second journal article. The same authors, the other way around, Byron and Post also conduct a meta-analysis to the link between women on boards of directors and corporate social performance. And so far, now we are on non-financial performance view. This is also an increasing and, to my mind, most interest research topic since the financial market crisis 2009-2008. It's not only interesting to my mind to know about the impact of gender diversity on boards and financial performance, I think we also must um, analyze possible impacts to non-financial performance. 
The authors, again, they analyze every empirical study to this topic. I think it was 84, and they published their work in the journal Corporate Governance. Their main result was that women on boards are positively linked with CSR performance. You will ask yourself now, how can we measure CSR performance? Isn't it, to my mind, a hard work? Yes, of course. Measuring financial performance is much more easier. But there's an increasing amount of international rating agencies all over the world that conduct CSR ratings on firms. They include many sustainable information about a company. For example, their workforce activity, their, their environmental strategy, and so on, and give a rating on it. And many strategies are, of course, done on a voluntary basis. Basis. It's not mandatory to attract new stakeholders. In line with the first meta-analysis on financial performance, the two authors state that the degree of shareholder protection and gender parity are moderators of the link between women on boards and CSR performance. And I think this effect is also understandable to you because gender parity will be connected with more incentives for CSR management and strategies. Also, regimes with more shareholder rights, to my mind, should be more active in honoring successful CSR strategies, perhaps with a better CSR performance. Every study has its limitations. And so far, we just have a look on it. If you analyze the current state of research, you should keep in mind there is a big heterogeneity in the analyzed countries, the respected corporate governance system and the board system. You have to separate in our discipline in an insider model and an outsider model. If you look to Germany, Germany is a classical insider model. What does it mean? You have a clear focus on the monitoring, on inside monitoring by the supervisory board, by the Aufsichtsrat, whereas other countries, for example, in the USA, is a classical representative of an outsider model with strong shareholder rights. And also market supervision. You have also keep in mind main differences between the so-called one-tier and two-tier system. We have many um, countries all over the world where the leadership and the supervision are not separated. We then called it um, the board of directors. In Germany, we have a typical uh, classical situation that we have a clear separation between the management and the supervisory board. It's important to know these main differences. And other main differences occur in the different samples, of course, the business years, and so far, we have many, many um, problems to cope with these studies. Also, the different possibilities of measuring gender diversity, I think it's relevant to know. You can find studies with only counting the number of the female members, others calculate the proportion or the presence of women on the board, yes or no. These variables are not um, comparable to another, of course. And a further remark should be on the interdependences between corporate governance variables and, of course, of gender diverse variables. Is it possible to calculate a separate effect of gender diversity? Um, is it realistic? To my mind, it is uh, always connected with other main corporate governance factors. For example, the size of a board, or the experience, or the board activity, and so on. And also, we have a big problem in business economic studies. This means endogeneity problem. This means, does women on board lead to better performance, or is it the other way around, that also um, successful firms try to increase the number of female members? And if you concentrate on the national level, you can find a huge research gap for Germany, unfortunately. 
most studies that have been conducted up to now um, focus on the one-tier system outside Europe. And very low studies with a German setting have been conducted yet, unfortunately. But the existing studies on the one-tier system, you cannot transfer them to the our two-tier system. And so far, um, we need more research activities here in Germany, and I think Leuphana has a, a great opportunity to decrease this research gap for our studies. Time is running. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to come to the um, end of my presentation. I think you all can stress that diversity and also gender diversity is one of the central topics also for business administration studies. You will have the great opportunity, to my mind, here in Lüneburg to get a deep insight of diversity. Because, to my opinion, if I compare it to other universities, I know that gender diversity research is well integrated in our studies. You find a very good example with the certificate of the complementary studies, you can pass it. And to my mind, you should all think about uh, your future in practice about this special um, knowledge. To my mind, there's a very high demand for bachelor degrees in business economics with um, special knowledge on diversity topics. And so far, your academic career here at Lüneburg will have or might have a big impact of the rest of your life in case of studying gender diversity as well. Um, I have two little discussion questions. We won't have time to discuss it, but to my mind, perhaps you can um, think about it in the, in the break. In view of the many studies on firm performance, do you think that gender diversity can be always connected with better leadership of the board? And if gender diversity is really a value driver, will this element always be honored by stakeholders? I hope you will all enjoy your studies at business administration or other faculties at Leuphanas during the nearest years. And to my mind, gender diversity is a broad topic with controversial aspects, you can see it here. But to my mind, um, every faculty and also the business administration studies have the great opportunity to integrate it in their teaching and their research focus. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>